Hi, Bill. Hi. <laughs> um, my first question. Um, your album, Let Me Come Over, yeah. was part of my soundtrack of my adolescence. Oh, cool. What was yours? Uh, yeah, tons of stones, right? <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, listen, I grew up sort of listening to, to, to the classics, you know, like the Rolling Stones and the Beatles and Dylan and, and that sort of Zeppelin and, and all that stuff. And, th and that stuff really, to this day, uh, resonates for me. But the sort of turning point records, like the points of, uh, in my adolescence that, you know, I kind of, I felt like were my own bands, were bands like, you know, Talking Heads, Remain in Light. Uh, I, had, I had known a little bit of the Talking Heads, but when I got that record, Remain in Light, it was like so far out of space that I, I still listen to that record and just think how amazing it is. And, um, and then, um, you know, that, I, that same year I got like U2's first record, Boy, and uh, I started listening to, uh, my friends got like, you know, we would share our records and my friends would get these cla that first Clash record and, and all of a sudden it was like, it felt like, we're finding our own bands, you know, like this was like, these bands, I don't have any older siblings, but you know, th these like the Stones and those guys are like bands of our older brothers and sisters. And, yeah. um, and that was cool and we loved it. But all of a sudden, like we started finding out new bands and, and the Talking Heads, like I said, weren't new at that point, but they were almost new. And U2, is, that was their first record. And, all of a sudden, and I remember going to see like the English Beat and having an REM opened up for them and just thinking, this band R.E.M. is fantastic. And so, you know, there's always those records that, that are turning point records. And the, that first R.E.M. record, then the first Replacements records, and then the Who's Could Do records, those, those are things that really just like rang for me, you know. Yeah. And do you also have real, well, music that really inspired you to go play the guitar yourself? Uh, well, I, I played guitar from, um, you know, age 12 or so. so uh, it was like that classic rock stuff. It was like the Stones and Neil Young. Neil Young was a big influence on my guitar playing, obviously. Yeah. I think that's more obvious than the Stones. Um, so people like that. And then, you know, kind of later, uh, hearing R.E.M. And, and those bands were kind of more strummy, it, it seemed like a, continu a continuum of the stuff that I had listened to uh, as a kid, as the classic stuff, but yet with a new twist. And so I, I liked that. I always liked sort of this folk and roots based guitar playing. Yeah, because you, you mentioned Talking Heads, but that's not really that I hear in your song, right? Yeah, yeah. I know. I don't think the Talking Heads so much. I think the Talking he Heads, um, uh, those, those early records, it was more the, the ethic and, and, the, and the idea of doing it yourself and doing something different and being your own band and like the, the and you know, the lyrics uh, and the image of, of just guys dressed in like an Oxford shirt, you know, on stage. Yeah. That, that sort of thing. And then, you know, that, that, that sort of resonated for us well, even, you know, when we started a band, people would, uh, when we, when we st first started coming, especially over to England, um, people were obsessed with rock band imagery. And to us, that always felt like a cliche that you left behind, that, whatever, that should have been left behind for good, you know. Yeah. But uh, it's still to this day, it's like, I don't, I don't know who, Freaking Peter Doher Pete Doherty is, you know, but I just see his picture all the time. It's because he's got, he, he falls right into that kind of uh, cliche idea of what a rock star, a punk rock guy should be. And I, I'm, I don't know if his music has any relevance. I may or may not. I just don't know. But uh, to, my point is that, you know, seeing those bands and like Who's Could Do and the guys in t-shirts or whatever. And that's, that's, uh, it was all more about the music. And yeah, I, I see the idea, and, and that in and of itself was an image, you know, like this anti-image, and, uh, you know, whatever, <laughs> whatever works yeah. for you, but it was... 